Hello everyone, I represent Temple of Instrumental Music, a YouTube channel which provides users from all over the world with uh, instrumental versions of, uh, uh, of songs, uh, Monday to Friday. Uh, today I want to show you how you can create uh, an instrumental version of a song you like, whichever song you uh, by using Vmax um, throughout the help of a couple of websites specifically ded dedicated to that purpose. Um, so first and foremost, uh, this is us, Temple of Instrumental Music. Uh, like I said, we publish instrumental versions of songs taken from our personal uh, collection and in order to create these instrumental songs, these instrumental versions of those songs, rather, um, we use uh, something called Vmax. Uh, now, back in uh, December last year, uh, we published this tutorial uh, called How to Use Vmax and Google Colab to create high quality instrumental versions of any song. Uh, this still works, uh, so if you want, you can check it out. Um, there is also a uh, an update to this um, to this method. Uh, in case you want to use two stand separations, all you have to do is click here, uh, and that means instead of uh, separating the song into four stands, uh, you can choose whichever stand uh, you want. Um, to be taken out of the song and then with this with this uh, methodology here uh, Dmax will create uh, a version of the song uh, just with the stem you want to take out and a version of the song without the stem you want to be taken out uh, so like I said uh, this still works uh, the update uh, works as well. Uh, I do realize it can be a little complicated for many people, uh, but it's way, way easier than uh, uh, utilizing source code through Python. Uh, and this is the uh, official GitHub page for Dmax, and, and if you read through this, it basically tells you what Dmax does and how you can utilize the code through uh, through Python now uh, back in the back in December when I published this uh, this tutorial there were no websites which basically allowed you to uh, use the um, uh, to to create those instrumental songs uh, so basically uh, no websites were online which included uh, Dmax uh, in their back end. But now uh, um, there's a few that have surfaced online and I wanna focus on two basically. Now the purpose of this tutorial obviously is to make your life easier. Uh, so you don't have to use this method here, you don't have to use Google Colab um, to create those instrumental songs. Uh, and at the same time, you won't have to use the code the original code as well, uh, which is even more complicated. Um, all right, so the first website is called Audio Strip, and uh, with these websites I'm going to show you, all you have to do is upload the file, upload the song to their server, and they'll do all the job for you. You don't have to do anything but wait for the process to be complete. So with audio strip, if you click on extract, uh, all you have to do is upload your file, so your song, you can click on browse and then choose it um, from, your, uh, from your computer, or even better, you can just click on uh, drag and drop the, the song right here. So once you've chosen the song, uh, you want to select the algorithm first, 
the U2, the U Splitter, which is the most popular one, and the U Dmax. So uh, we focus on Dmax. We still think Dmax vers version three is the better, uh, the the one better performing. Um, there's a lot of debate uh, online. Uh, I mean, you can you're free to try whichever. I encourage you to try whichever, but for me, uh, for for the uh, for my team. Uh, D Max versus three is still the the best one in terms of overall quality uh, and fidelity. So you want to use D Max as far as the output. You can choose whichever MP3 or Rob or Wave uh, MP3 is fine for us. And then with D Max you can do uh, the tune step separation. So just the vocals and the instrumentals, uh, the instrumental version. Or you can do the uh, the four stem separation, which is the default for the Max, uh, and it will extract the vocals. Uh, it will create four um, uh, separate stems: vocals, brass, drums, and then other other is guitars plus um, other instruments, um, usually piano or electronics. Okay, so for the to create instrumental versions. We're gonna select vocals for the instrumentals and then click on extract and see what happens. Now, um, as you can see, it might take a while. Uh, it really depends on uh, how clocked the website is. It usually takes a few minutes. Uh, I would say about three or four minutes, um, at least with uh, with audio strip. All right. So at the end of the process, um, it will show you this uh, uh, this page, um, and you have three options here. So the first one, you basically you download the original song, um, you upload it to their server. Uh, you will be able to download the uh, instrumental instrumental version of the song where it says no vocals and also uh, just the vocals so just the uh, sound part all right super easy as you can see and that's all for audio strip I encourage you to browse their website uh, it's actually very interesting and I think they also have a, uh, a premium premium services as well um, in this case here you can isolate multiple audio files at once you can do batch uh, sessions and then also uh, you can do online mastering uh, this I, I don't know exactly what what this is uh, but yeah I mean you can uh, uh, you can read through it by yourself and see what's up but what uh, what we want to focus on obviously is the extraction uh, page uh, with Dmax now the second website for today um, is called MD sap it is actually very very interesting and um, and it's uh, quickly become a favorite of my team now there's it's also available in several languages let's focus on the English one uh, and as you can see uh, uh, it's very easy as well uh, it's very similar to audio strip in, ter in terms of functionality so the first thing you want to do is uh, select the file you want to be converted uh, I'm just gonna uh, drag and drop uh, this file here and it will upload it to the server and now for separation type uh, if you click here you can see there's there's lots of models uh, that you can use their splitter there's unmix uh, there's the older version of dmax uh, the newest versions as well and dx by dance there there's a lot now uh, like i said uh, you can experiment with them all uh, i encourage you to do so uh, for the purpose of this video, we're just going to focus on uh, um, on Dmax versus three, which is 
uh, which is the, the AI that we use and we think is uh, still the best available on the market. And in this case, uh, you want to select DMAX uh, 3 Model B, which is the updated version from Model A and performs much better. So you want to choose this one. Uh, as far as the output encoding, uh, it's up to you. MP3, uh, 320 kilobits per, per sec will do just fine. You can do, you can choose wave, you can choose flag. It's really up to you. Uh, you're not a robot. And uh, at this point, what you need to do is just click on separate. So what it's gonna do is, uh, it, it will put you in a queue and so you have to wait. In this case, there's only two um, files being processed by the system. Sometimes it's much, much more. It depends on how many people uh, utilize the website at the time you, uh, you're using it to separate your sounds. Uh, in my personal experience, uh, it usually takes uh, two or three minutes when there's not uh, too many people using it and all the way up to 10 minutes or even 15 minutes if um, you're, if there's a very long queue in this case, um, it's basically separating my file as we speak. So uh, I was briefly in a queue just for a few seconds and now it's working on my files, on my file rather. Okay, so uh, at the end of the process, after the system has uh, after, after the system is done analyzing your file, you will be presented with uh, this page with the results basically. And now what's interesting about MVSAP is that not only it, um, it creates the four stems for you, it also creates the instrumental version as well. So uh, if you're just interest, interested on the instrumental version, all you have to do is download it. But if you also want to play around with the four stems created by the Max, you can download them as well. Drums, bass, other, and vocals. And then here it provides a little bit of information about the uh, song that's been analyzed. In this case, it was a uh, uh, 2005 song uh, uh, by Jameson Parker. Uh, all right, and that's basically pretty much it for uh, this tutorial. Again, utilizing Audio Strip or MV SAP or any other website which uses uh, DMAX in their backend is literally the easiest way to uh, to create. Uh, instrumental versions of a song uh, through DMAX without having to interact with uh, with the code itself. So this is literally the easiest way for you to uh, to play around with this uh, uh, new AI technology. All right, that's all for today, and uh, I hope you learned something, and uh, uh, I'll see you around.